Hi, good morning. I'm Key Browning. I'm a registered yoga teacher and a certified strength trainer, as well as the author of Zenergy. And today we're going to be doing chair yoga. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. If you'll um, scoot forward to the front edge of your chair and let's sit in active seated chair position as you're pushing on your feet, lift up through the spine and let's extend the arms out and up. Inhale and exhale. Good. Just raising your arms out and up, extend out through your fingers and then reach up to the sky and again, extending outward and downward. Inhale deeply, exhale completely. Let's come right to the middle and we'll do a few shoulder rotations here, right in the middle. And back in the other direction too. Good. And again, circling the arms. And the other way. Excellent. There you go. Let's take the right hand up and over, off to the side, right hand reaching left, left hand reaching down toward the floor. And off to the other side. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, tilt, reaching off to the side. And again, inhale. Exhale, tilt. Keep your neck long on that diagonal. And let's go the other way too. Inhale, reach. Exhale, tilt. Low, watch that left, your right shoulder. Make sure the right elbow is bent as you're tilting. And then back to center. Let's do cat and cow, hands to knees, round look down. Inhale, hands to hips, arch look up. Exhale, round look down, round your spine, look down. Inhale, arch, look up. And again, hands to knees, round, really round the spine, tuck the chin to chest. And then the opposite, arch your spine, hands to hips, feel the opening in the shoulders and the throat. Look up and neutral. Good. And then let's uh, take the legs forward for uh, Seated Uttanasana would take your legs straight forward with the toes down, knees straight, and begin to slide down, reaching for your shins or your ankles coming all the way down. Take a deep breath here. Look at your knees, point your nose toward your knees. And then gently roll back up. We'll sit up straight. Good, couple of deep breaths. So really exhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale deeply like a balloon in the belly. And just set your intention for how focused you wanna be for the whole hour. And we wanna keep revisiting that statement for yourself that you want to learn something new about your body today. Your body, mind, and spirit. Let's do seated Uttanasana one more time. Uh, go ahead and slide down, reaching for your shins, knees, ankles, or toes, reaching. You can even take your toes up to intensify the stretch here, reaching. And then gently come back up. Excellent. Let's take the legs out wide, legs out wider than the chair. Scoot back to the back edge of the chair. And we'll begin to lean forward. So level one, hands to the chair or elbows to your thighs or coming down lower, reaching down to the floor. If you're reaching to the floor, relax your neck. Give a couple of yeses and a couple of no's. Just stretching through the neck. A couple of yeses, a couple of no's. And then roll up, coming back up. We'll sit with the legs wide here, but press your shoulder blades into the chair behind you, uh, into the back, so you can feel that opening in the sh shoulders and the collarbones, really opening up the chest as you lean back into the chair. And then again, we'll lean forward, elbows to thighs, hands to the chair, leaning forward. Maybe you can reach for the floor. Relax your neck, 
and give a couple of yeses and a couple of no's, just looking at each shoulder, looking way over there at each shoulder. Take another deep breath. And then inhale and lift up. Let's go ahead and bring the feet, knees together. So let's touch your ears with your fingertips, elbows out wide, level one. Your elbows will be in a little closer and then middle and then way out wide for level three. And then we'll bring the elbows to knees. Inhale, lift up, elbows wide. Elbows to knees. Inhale, lift up, elbows out wide. And again, elbows to knees. And then lift up, come out wide. Make sure that your feet are shoulder width apart or hip width apart. And we'll do a little side bend here, elbow reaching off to the side. Don't collapse the shoulder, don't lean forward. This is a side bend. So keep your uh, armpits open, keep the elbows out wide. Let's go off to the other side, tilting off to the left. Good, inhaling up, exhale, tilt to the right. Keep the neck long on that diagonal so you're not collapsing the throat. And off to the other side too. Good, and center. So let's combine those. So elbows to knees, inhale up. Exhale, tilt to the right, inhale up. Exhale, tilt to the left, inhale up. Exhale, elbows to knees. Inhale up, elbows wide. And tilting to the side here, to the right and to the left and center. Go ahead and lower the arms down. Let's do a few neck rotations here. So looking down, circle your neck in one direction, just slow, small rotations here. Relax your jaw. Good, a little wider. Good, a little wider. And then neutral. And we always wanna pause and make sure that um, we're not too dizzy or anything like that. And now let's choose the other direction, small rotation. Remember, they need to be really small at the beginning so we're not overexerting. And then just a little wider now. And wider. Excellent. And wider. And neutral. Okay, good. So right ear to the right shoulder, right hand to the left shoulder, left hand out and off to the side. Look up to the left. And now staying on that diagonal, look down at your pocket or at the floor, and then looking up at the ceiling. Turn your neck and chin down to the floor. You're still on that diagonal though. And then off, back up to the ceiling. And one more time, down and up and neutral. Okay, off to those sides. So left ear to left shoulder, left hand to right shoulder, right hand out, down, off to the side. And let's look up, so look up to the right. And now we'll begin to move the neck on that diagonal, looking down and up. Down at the floor at your yoga mat and up. A couple more times. Okay, excellent, and then back to neutral. Let's hold the back of the chair and lean forward, bring the shoulders back, lower your chin to chest. Take another deep breath here, just folding the, the chin to chest and stretching through the back of your neck. 
and then neutral. Excellent. Shoulders up and down, up and down. Nice little big lift there and down. And now just lower the shoulders down. Let them drop up, 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 down, up, 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 down. Up, 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 down. Okay, good. And then we'll just do a light finger massage on the muscle and really move or flatten the muscle away from the vertebrae back there. Nice stretches in the neck. And this, of course, helps to um, kind of open up that connective tissue in the fascia. Nice massage on the top of the shoulders there, loosening those up. Of course, this is something you could do every day. You know, nice little massage on the neck. It feels really good. Okay, so again, we're gonna go right ear to right shoulder, right hand to left shoulder, left hand out and off to the side. Just holding here. You wanna feel that stretch like from the ear and down in the neck and the shoulder, top of the sh shoulder. We'll come back to neutral, so just upright with the chin, so in the, the, ver the cer cervical region of the neck. And now we'll turn and look to the side. Good, and then back to neutral, and we'll change sides. So left ear to left shoulder, left hand to right shoulder, right hand out and off to the side. Good, just holding here. Good, and then back to an upright spine, turn and look to the left. And then center. Okay, good, and we'll come back to center. Let's do our jazz shoulders up and down. And forward and backward. Good, and then up and down. Good, and forward and backward, excellent, very good. Let's go ahead and come up to a standing. We'll stand to the side of the chair and we'll just do a, a nice little standing forward fold here. So uh, reach down toward the chair. Level one, you can lean on the back of the chair and level two, you can have your palms straight on the chair or even be on your knuckles if that hurts your wrists. Otherwise, uh, just folding here and level three is down to your elbows. So just coming to a, a position where you can keep your legs straight. That's the primary focus of this posture. Okay, good. And now while we're standing here, let's bend the knees just a little bit and do a standing cat and cow. So an arch and then around. So standing cat and cow and tuck the tailbone and feel that stretch in the low back and then arch, lift the tailbone. So add the neck. So you're looking at your knees when you're rounding and then arch, look up a few more times here. Okay, good. And then back to a neutral spine. And now just sway a little bit there, wiggle your butt back and forth. And you'll feel this in the side body. So just moving the hips back and forth. And then when you're ready, we'll come back up. Excellent. Very good. Just stand tall in mountain pose. Take a couple of deep breaths, feel that oxygen flowing in. Good. Okay, good. So let's do a lunge here. I'm going to scoot my chair forward. We're going to do a right foot lunging and left foot way back there. A little bend in the knee is fine if you need to do that. Otherwise, keep the back leg straight. You can always lower the back heel down. So you're more in a, a warrior one position. So a nice lunge here, hanging onto the chair or maybe raising one hand high. If you're on the back heel, like I'm demonstrating here, then possibly you could take both hands up, just being careful. So just gently touching the chair with your shin or your knee will give you a little more stability if you need that. 
and then hands down, walk toward the chair. Take as many steps as you need. And let's go to the other side. So take as many steps as you need coming back. And go ahead and push down through the back heel. Warrior one, one or both hands up high. Doing good. Raising the hands up or hanging on to the chair as necessary with one hand. Safety first. That's always a priority. And then the hands down. And again, take as many steps as you need to come out of that position. Stand tall, mountain pose. Now this time, let's lean off to the side. Let's do the left foot on the chair, near the chair, and the right foot. So we're lunging uh, like a warrior two posture, warrior two. And we'll hold here with the left knee bent and the arms off to the side. And my knees touching the chair, that does give you a little more uh, stability if you need that. And then let's lean. So level one, elbow to the back of the chair, leaning. Level two, hand to the chair, side angle lunge. If you want to have more intensity, of course, you can always raise your hand up. Or if that's too much, just keep your hand on your hip. Excellent, inhale, lifting up. Good, pivot both feet forward. So this is safety for the knees, and then you come out of that. We're gonna go off to the other side. So I'm gonna move this chair over to the other side and we'll do that over here. So let's do warrior two, right knee bent, left leg straight. And you could just stay here, or if you can, you can extend the arms off to the side. Okay, leaning, side angle lunge, left hip, left hand to left hip, right elbow to the back of the chair for level one, or level two, hand to the chair, to the bottom of the chair. Okay, if you want to add that arm, of course, you can always add that top arm, left arm up and over. Excellent. Inhale, lifting up. Remember, feet pivot forward first, and then you take as many steps as you need to come out of that. That's going to be safer. Okay, excellent. So while we're standing here, let's go ahead and do some more postures here behind the chair. Uh, let's move into triangles. So legs are straight, and we'll bring that the back toes in. So the left toes are aimed toward the chair. Both knees are straight. And then the hips go back. So you really want the left hip to move back and the right hand to reach for your right leg. This one's triangle or trikonasana. Continue to keep your torso aimed toward me. So you don't want to be looking at your knee or at your left leg, right leg. Good. If you have, um, if you're looking for more intensity, just raise that top hand up. Good. And then let's change directions. Take your time moving in and out of the positions and always make sure to be mindful of the placement of your feet. So the back toes or the right toes are aimed toward the chair. That means the heel is always the furthest point out in every position when we're standing. The heel is more like a book stop or a door stop that it's going to stop your leg and it's uh, safer. Good, and then we'll reach and come on down for triangle, left hand to left leg, right hand to the chair, or right hand up high. This is a side bend here, it's an intense side bend, so you do want to be looking at me, even if that means that you're up a little bit higher, you can even be hanging onto the chair, uh, so you don't have to come down to your shin or ankle. Okay, and then top hand or right hand reaching to the chair and then gently coming up out of that. And then pivot forward first with the feet and then come out. Okay, excellent. Let's rock and roll here. Be mindful of your breath. Try to breathe through your nose as much as possible. <clears throat> okay, if you don't need to hang on, try not to. You can just let your hands hover over the chair in case you need it. And now up and hold, tippy toe stand. 
and back down. Excellent. Let's do trikonasana one more time. So legs out wider than the chair, back toes are aimed toward the midline or toward your chair, and then the heels, the furthest point out. Let's just do a little salsa move here. We just take the hips back and forth, moving the hips back and forth with the knees straight. And then the hips go left, and then the torso goes right, and reaching right hand to right knee or shin or down to your ankle, as long as the top shoulder is still coming back. Good, hand to chair or left hand high. Good, take another deep breath through the nose. Feel that vitality flowing through your body. And then bend the knees slightly, bend your right knee slightly as you're coming up and out, pivot methodically, right foot in, left foot out. And then adjust your feet as necessary. Remember level one is just closer. You know, it's the same position, but your legs are closer. And then two and three of the legs are wider. Yeah, good. and then we just do that little salsa move again, back and forth. And the hips go, the hips go back or the hips go right. Torso goes left. We're gonna reach that left arm out, left hand to left leg, right hand to the chair or right hand high. Another deep breath, doing good. Okay, excellent. And bend the left knee, coming up and out of that, pivot forward. Okay, and then back to neutral. Good, take a deep breath here. You can feel the body responding to the posture, it just feels good. Okay, so let's sit back down. We're going to do our seated sun salutations. <clears throat> okay, good. Just sitting down. Pull my hair back here. Okay, excellent. And inhale, hands to the sky. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, pull forward. Reach for your knees, ankles, or toes. Good, and equestrian, right knee to right chest, sit up straight. Level one, the foot down, level two, the foot high. Excellent, and lower that down, reaching all the way to the floor. And now reach for your knees, hands to knees for modified push-up or chaturanga, leaning forward, shoulders back. Straighten your hands, arch your spine, look up for cobra. Take a deep breath, exhale as you reach all the way down to the floor. And off to the other side, left knee to chest for equestrian, shoulders back, sternum up, foot high for level two. And there we go. Come all the way down with the leg, hands reaching down for your ankles or toes. And reach up to the sky. Inhale, look up. And bring your hands back to the heart. One. Let's do one more. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Come all the way down. Let's do the left leg first this time. So equestrian on the left leg. Level one, the foot's down. Level two, the foot's high. Level one, you're holding the leg with your hand, so your arms are doing some weightlifting here. Otherwise, you're just gently guiding the leg up with your fingertips, so then the leg is doing more of the weightlifting. And then we'll come on down and reach down to your knees, ankles, or toes. And hands to your knees. Lean forward for modified push-up, chaturanga. Straighten your elbows, arch your spine, look up for cobra. And hands back to the earth, coming all the way down. And off to the other side. So right knee to chest, lifting the foot high, shoulders down and back, gently guiding the leg with your fingers or holding the, the leg up with your arms. 
Excellent. Coming all the way down, reach for the earth. And reach for the sky. Inhale, look up. And hands to the heart. Two. Excellent. Very good. So let's turn to the right for warrior one. Extend that left leg out behind you. Level one, the knees bent. We do want to have uh, that hip flexor, the left, the front of the left leg in a stretch, moving the knee down. That would be level one. And level two, the leg is extending out behind you. Level three is up and out of the chair. So extend the arms out. Reach. Good. Hands up as high as you can. So level one, the elbows will be in front uh, where you could see your elbows. And then level two or three, the arms are up a little higher. So the ears are between the elbows. Push on the right foot as you lean forward slightly. And then hands down. And let's pivot and aim in the other direction. Just scoot around. Take your time. You're not in a rush. And go off to the other side. So level one, the right knee is bent. And level two, the right knee is straight. So feel that strength in the right leg. Okay, good. Inhale, lift up, reach and extend. Doing great. Reach your arms vigorously to the sky while you push on your left foot. Take another deep breath and come on down. Bend the back knee and we'll go ahead and do that one more time. Aim to the right, left leg extends out behind you. This time let's add on a little bit. We're gonna reach down to our foot and then inhale up. Keep your legs strong, okay. whatever position you're in, level one, two. And good, and again, inhaling up, reach up. Exhale, come on down. Inhale, raise your arms up. Exhale, down. And then this time, inhale up and hold, reach and extend. Check in with the neck. So are you hyperextending? Are you, are you tucking the chin to chest too much? We want the chin, we want the neck to be neutral. Push on the right foot and then come on down. Bend the back knee and let's gently aim in the other direction. Okay, find that position. Remember, we always want to think about the foundation of the position before your hands go up. And then as the hands go up, that's your inhale. So you're inhaling the hands up. And exhale the hands down toward the floor. Inhale the hands up, push on the foot, push on the left foot. Exhale the hands back to the earth. Inhaling up, movement here, nice stretch, leaning all the way to the floor. And last time, inhale, reach up, look up, and extend the arms out and hold. Push on the left foot as you reach your hands away. Excellent, and hands down, bring that back leg in, and then come back to a seated position, facing forward. Good, just sitting up straight. You know, bring the shoulders back so you feel the collarbones are broadening, and this will allow you to inhale just a little bit more with a little more oxygen into the lungs and the heart. So let's bring the right ankle to the left thigh. Right ankle to the left thigh. Good, sitting up straight. So level one, you give yourself some slack. So you're not sitting up straight, you're relaxed in the chair. And then level two is sitting up straight. Okay, let's have a twist here. So left hand to the right knee. Keep those shoulders broad as you twist and look off to the right. Good, another deep breath.
Excellent. And neutral. And lower the leg down. And then just a little wiggle. Just moving organically. And we'll go to the other side. So left ankle to right thigh. <clears throat> Good. Sitting up straight. And now we'll turn and look to the left. Bring that right hand to the outside of the left knee. Twist and look off to the left. Yeah, it feels so good. These nice, simple moves. These are just so wonderful for your body. Excellent. And then back to center and lower the foot down. Let's rock and roll. Heel and toe raises. Okay, good. Let's let's do a kick here. So we're gonna lift the leg up. Lifting the leg up. Nice. Let's cross opposite hand to foot. Lifting the leg up. Nice kick here. Reach for your foot. Doing good. Okay, excellent. One more to the right and to the left, and then come on down. A couple of deep breaths here. Scoot forward to the front of your chair and let's take the right hand and the right leg off to the side. Just taking the hand and leg off to the side. There's three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Try to lift the leg up and over. Nine. And 10. Good. And let's go to the other side. So left hand, left leg off to the side. There's one, two, three, four, five. Keep moving. Doing good. Six, seven, eight, nine. Excellent, very good. Let's do another round of cat and cow, hands to knees, round leg down, and hands to hips, arch look up. And exhale, round look down, and hold here for a few breaths, round, 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 chin to chest. And then the opposite, arch, 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 look up. Open the throat, let the shoulders drop down. And again, back with your breath. Round, look down. Inhale, arch, look up. Exhale, round, look down. Inhale, arch, look up. And then we'll come to a neutral spine here. Okay, excellent. Let's go ahead and uh, come back up to standing. We're going to do some uh, balancing postures now. <clears throat> I'm going to get a little sip of water here. Okay. Good. So coming off to the side. <clears throat> okay. Standing tall. Remember, all balancing postures start with Tadasana or mountain pose first. So we're stand tall. Feel the four points of your feet. And then of the left foot, you'll feel the four points of the left foot. Just taking your right leg up and forward and taking the foot off the floor. That's all you have to do. And then the hand can be on the chair, slightly over the chair, or hands to hips. Find your focal point. Let your eyes relax and feel your foot on the floor. Take another deep breath.
Okay, good work. Let's go to the other side, starting in Tadasana. And then lift that left foot forward, taking the left foot off the floor in. And remember, you can stay with the hand on or near the chair. Maybe you're hanging on with just one finger. Doing good. Okay, excellent. And then we'll stand behind the chair, standing on the left leg. Let's bring your right foot behind. So the right foot behind, and the hands are just slightly over the chair or at the heart. Excellent, very good. So standing in Tadasana and off to the other side, we're just gonna lift that left foot up behind you. If the knee is slightly in front, that would be level one. So the foot's behind, but the knee is slightly forward in front of the right leg, or both knees are in alignment with the entire left shin behind you. Okay, excellent, very good, nice. And now let's rock and roll, heel and toe raises, hands slightly hovering over the chair. And then tippy toe stand, moving to the pads of your feet, lifting up, tippy toe stand. Okay, good, very good. Let's uh, let's do these balancing postures one more time. We'll lift that right knee up, foot off the floor for level one, knee up high for level two. Hanging onto the chair, level one, or touching it just with one fingertip, that's level two. Hands just hover over, so you're not using it, but the right there in case you do need it, that would be level three. Good. Keep the breath smooth and steady. And try to breathe through your nose as much as possible. Okay, good. Let's go to the other side. So just standing tall, mountain pose. <clears throat> and we'll take that left foot in front. Feel the micro movements or macro movements, depending <laughs> in the standing leg. Try to stand as straight as you can. If you fall out of the position, no big deal. This is just a little fitness game. And you just get back into the posture of the best of your ability. Excellent, doing good. And we'll stand behind the chair, stand on the left leg, bring your right foot behind. Again, if you wanna have the hands on the chair or slightly near the chair, that's fine. A few more deep breaths here. Okay, good. Let's go to the other side. So stand tall on the right foot and left foot lifting behind you. Excellent. There you go. Nice. Okay, and now let's just sway. I'll just move away from the chair and we just do a little sway. Ah, nice sigh and a sway. Feels so good. Ah, just looking off in each direction. You know, this simple little turn here, this is also another gentle way to get a little spinal adjustment. Sometimes you will. And so that's always good too. That's nice. 
Okay, so stand behind the chair again. Let's do a standing side bend. Right hand reaches up. Nice tilt to the side. And now off to the other side as well. Left hand reaching to the right. Okay, good. One more time. Inhale up and off to the side. And the other way too. Inhale up and off to the side. Excellent. Very good. Now let's stand to the side of the chair and um, make sure that your chair is stable and balanced and not half on or off, whatever it is that you've got there. And let's bring the, the foot, uh, the leg that's closest to the chair, let's bring it on the chair. See if you can do that. So the, uh, I guess this would be your right leg if we're in the same direction here. So your right leg will hang on to the chair. Good. So just standing up tall. Now see if you can kind of inch forward and then have more of a hip flexor stretch there in that the front of the left leg. So leaning forward, getting a little stretch there. And now lean back and straighten your leg, kind of a tilt forward here. So the leg that's closest to the back of the chair and you're hanging on, and then there's this nice stretch here, leaning forward over the right leg. Excellent, and then coming up. Now stay with the foot on the chair and let's do a little twist. We're gonna look away and you could just look behind you or reach and look to your right. So opening up, continue to stand tall, stir them up, reach and extend and look off to that right hand. And then back to neutral. And then let's do that on the other side, okay? So um, if we're together, if we're both facing in the same direction, then this would be your left leg. So you wanna have a little space there so, so that you can lean forward and feel the stretch in the front of the right leg, the hip flexors. So this can help um, to stretch the front of the spine and into the core of the muscles but also it shifts the pelvis, it shifts the muscles in the pelvis so it can help with any tension that you might have in your low back. Nice little stretch there. Okay, good. And now the opposite, we're gonna take that left foot straight and a nice tilt forward. So you can reach your hand down toward the chair or on your shin. And then you wanna feel this in the back of that leg. So we're looking for a deep stretch in that left hamstring. Another deep breath here. Oh, this feels so good, doesn't it? Okay, so now let's um, have that twist here. So we're gonna hold the back of the chair. You could just turn and look behind you, but if you wanna enhance it, take that left arm off to the side and look at it. Another deep breath. Keep the sternum up and the chin parallel with the floor. and then gently going forward. And then let's come out of that and we'll do it one more time each leg. Okay, so take your time. We start from mountain pose and you might have your foot maybe just like a half a step back and that'll allow you to get a little more of a stretch there on that hip flexor. So the right knee is on, the right knee is up, the right foot's on the chair. We're gonna lean forward to slightly intensify the stretch in the front of the back leg or in the left hip flexor. Good, sternum up. Good. Left hand, left hip. Good, and now we're going to straighten the right knee and lean forward, reaching down for the chair or maybe for your shin. Again, you can hang on to the back of the chair to give yourself a little more support so you're not too deep into the posture. This is for the, this hamstring, you're gonna feel this in the back of your leg here. That's what we're looking for. Another deep breath. And then come up and bend the knee and let's have that twist. 
So hang on to the chair. Again, you can just hang on to the chair and hold with the right hand to right hip or extend that right hand out and look at it if you can. Hang on to the chair. So keep that contact with the chair for this one. Okay, and then back to center first. So you're aimed in the direction of that right knee and then the right leg comes down. Okay, so that's safety feature there. Okay, good. And then off to the other side, we start in mountain pose and then pick that left leg up. And holding here. Let's do that little, uh, a little lean forward here and feel that hip flexor. And if you don't feel it, just come back like a half a step. And then we try it again. So that you feel the front of the right leg. And now let's straighten the left leg and lean forward. Feel this in your left hamstring. Leaning forward. Good, try to keep your spine straight so you don't wanna keep rounding. Try to hinge forward from that low back. Okay, and then inhale, lift up, bend the knee, and let's go ahead and turn and do a little twist here. So the left knee's bent, the left hand is opening out to the left. Hang on to the chair. One more deep breath here. Chin is parallel with the floor. And then gently come out of that. Aim toward your chair, toward your foot in the chair here before you bring that leg down. So you don't want to be in a half twist coming out of it and then just drop your foot down. So always being careful there. Okay, that all feels so good. So good. Let's sit down. Okay. Okay, good. So right hand reaching for the back of the neck, push or pull, bring that arm back. And the feet are about hip width or shoulder width apart. Good, and then we'll cross in front, right arm reaches left, left arm like a lever, turn and look to the right. Excellent, off to the other side. Give yourself a little pat in the back there, left hand to the back. And then push or pull, bring that left elbow back. And cross in front, bring that left arm in. Watch the shoulder, you don't want the shoulder bunched up. So the shoulder drops down as you pull the arm in toward you. And then look away, reaching to the right and looking to the left. Don't collapse your throat. Keep your chin parallel with the floor. And then neutral and release. Ah, oh, that feel good. Up and down. Yeah, jazz shoulders up and down. Okay, let's backstroke. Good, and forward stroke. Good, backstroke and forward. Okay, nice. Sitting up straight, let's lower chin to chest. And then chin to the sky. Feel that opening in the throat. Feel a stretch into the, the front of the neck here. And again, sitting up straight, shoulders are back and then chin to chest. And chin up high. Good, and neutral, let's go ahead and drop right ear to right shoulder. And then as if you were touching a soft lapel, looking up and down on that diagonal.
and neutral. Left ear to left shoulder. And begin to touch the soft lapel with your cheek, looking up and down. <laughs> okay, and neutral. Roll your shoulders back. And forward. Now interlock your fingers. Just notice which pinky's on bottom, and then the palms go out and the arms go up. A little bend in the elbows to straighten through the arms so the hands are reaching up to the ceiling as if you're going to hold the ceiling with your hands, with your palms. Okay, excellent. And release. Hold the back of the chair and lean forward, chin to chest. Deep breath. And then one more time, let's reach forward. Web your fingers the other way. So the other pinky is on bottom and the palms go out and up. Little bend in the elbows and then extend and raise your hands up. Chin parallel with the floor. Excellent. And let's hold the back of the chair one more time. Lean forward, stretch through the pectorals, anterior deltoids, and the back of your neck. Very good. Okay, and then let's do a seated twist here. One more time, we're gonna sit up straight and look to the right, bring your left hand to the outside of the chair, outside of your knee or the chair, and then hold the back of the chair. This will help you to twist just a little bit more, bringing that right shoulder way back, chin parallel with the floor, looking behind you as much as you can. Okay, gently coming forward and let's look to the left. Again, holding the back of the chair, doing what you can to bring that left shoulder way back. So push on the sit bones, lift up and turn and look to the left. Okay, excellent. One more time each way. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, turn. Look to the right. See if you can uh, twist just a little bit more so you're trying to get a little more space in the spine. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, turn. Spiraling the torso, trying to unlock it. Excellent. And then one more time to the left. Hold the back of the chair. Take your time. Push on the sit bones. Inhale, lift up through the spine. Elongate the body. Lifting up. Exhale, turn. Look behind you. Spiral the torso. Looking up. Deep in your breath. And then back to center. Excellent. Nice little wiggle there now. Good. Well, let's get a little sip of water before we go into meditation here. We have a few minutes left for R&R. &R. <clears throat> okay, we well, did great today. So that's nice. We got to work out and now we'll get to rest a little bit. Ah, yeah, so a couple of deep breaths. Just feel yourself letting go as you're sinking down into the chair. And if you can, turn off the lights in your area so you can sit more comfortably. And then just ah, let go and relax into your chair. With each breath, feel yourself just letting go. Long, deep breaths. In through the nose, out through the mouth. 
in through the nose and out through the mouth. One more time and out through the mouth. And then just breathe comfortably, preferably through your nose. Relax your eyes and your facial muscles. Release your jaw, lips, and tongue. Continue to rest through the neck and shoulders, letting go. Continue to feel your back body melting into the chair beneath you. Just feel the back body letting go. It feels so good. Not holding on to anything. Just imagine any stress that you might have that you're just dropping it like a piece of trash in the trash can. You're not deciding whether or not you're going to leave it in the trash can. Just letting go. Let go of any stress. Just imagine any aches or pains or injuries or any stress at all. It's just dropping out of your body and back into the earth. And Mother Earth knows how to handle that little bit of stress. It's a lot for us, but it's a little for her. In your mind's eye, envision a light, a flame of a candle, like the golden candle, and allow that light to get bigger and brighter, like the sun. And let the sun get closer to you Feel it illuminating that mind's eye. Feel the strength and the blessing of the Christ consciousness moving toward you. Feel safe and secure in your own skin, in your own home. And feel your faith getting stronger and notice how your body is becoming more relaxed. Defensiveness just drops away. Continue to bring that light of the infinite creator into your mind and into your body, into your spirit, awakening the spirit. Soon we're going to come back. If you can stay a little longer, please do. See if you can just rest and meditate. Just another five minutes. But I'm going to close out the class and close out the Zoom. And I hope you have a wonderful day. And those of you who are closing out with me will take the hands up to the sky and bring the hands to the heart. Have a moment of gratitude for your divine body temple, your life and your family. And as you continue your day, just radiate your joy to everyone. Namaste. Thank you.
Many blessings. I hope you have a wonderful day today. God bless you.